hey what is up guys welcome back to another video and today i'll be showing you all how to make a server for minecraft now this works for minecraft versions for the real game minecraft versions as well so i got you guys so the first thing we'll do we'll be starting with the free ones of course so if you don't want to spend the great servers then the best server right now is eternals so select eternals select eternals log in select play now you can log in with your google account or you can sign up and you should be in right now see you're in so how do you set up the server so just select create the server over here you can either select bedrock or java so since majority of the users are play on java edition just select java edition now once you're here you can change the name you know of the server like Robert, Robert Atarazami, press this. You can even change this part and customize. What is up? Everybody. Change the colors. LOL. Yep, that's it. Just select create if you don't want to customize it, of course. So now on this page right here. So before you could start the server, there are some things that you need to configure. Okay, so first we'll be selecting software now when we're in software this is where you could select uh what kind of version of minecraft you want to play you can either play in vanilla maybe some beta versions like snapshot fabric for mods quilt close on forge you know mod packs and that's it yeah now let's head to options so in order for us to play minecraft with your friends that are using like tea launcher or crack game just head to options and enable crack just enable crack and that's it you can play if you want a secure server you don't want any randoms to join you know whitelist force game mode i don't know what that does but just, i just enable it and resource pack if you want to have like good graphics and all that now for players this is where you can whitelist people you can give them admin you can ban you can even ban their ip which is kind of crazy and that's it that's eternals that's the free one for minecraft now let's head to the paid one so in the past my friends and i used to play on eternals but when we tried the paid version we used empower okay this is the server that we use this is the website that we use to run our minecraft so empower there are actually a variety of settings that you could select you can either select the standard one which costs like eight dollars a month you can even customize your plan how many this is actually the ram and how much the server can this is that you'll be using now the server uh, the amount of ram that we used when i played with my friends is four i think i believe that's the minimum since we were like 10 and it had like a lot of mods like 100 plus mods if you're if you're planning to download more mods and add like a lot of files and stuff I think 8 is the optimal so it can prevent lag and all that. Now what's good about this is if you're playing with like less than 4 people or 5 people, you can just split the amount, let's say $4, you can just split that by like 4 of you guys. So that's like $1 per person and, and shit like that. Yeah. Now what's good about Empower, um, it's like you're playing single player in Minecraft, there's no lag at all and it's really good. I really recommend Empower actually. It's actually the first it's actually the first time that we paid a server just to play minecraft and our experience with empire is really really good now if you don't want to spend of course you can go with eternals but you're gonna notice some lag a second delay there'll be times where it's really really lag and stuff and that's that's it that's actually it for today's video if this helped you out on what server to choose and all that then i hope this video really helped you out guys give a video give this video a like and a subscribe to the channel would definitely help us out anyways thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial